Good evening. We're back with more Marvel Champions, and this evening we'll be playing Captain America vs. Venom on Expert Difficulty. This is scenario number two of our custom Sinister Motives campaign, where we play through all of these scenarios on Expert Difficulty with one hero and making use of the campaign benefits but not the campaign downsides. My personal philosophy on the campaigns is that demanding that you play just one hero for all five scenarios is a pretty significant downside because each of the scenarios presents unique challenges and if we could we'd like to bring in a different hero for each of them. So finding a deck that can defeat all of the scenarios on expert difficulty is quite a challenge and therefore we don't need any additional challenges especially on solo difficulty. On solo difficulty adding in public outcry with its plus one encounter card brings the scenario basically up to heroic one difficulty. The extra encounter card isn't to challenge the scales up or down. It's one encounter card whether you're playing with four players or whether you're playing with one. It is a campaign specific setup instruction and completely imbalances the campaign for solo play in my opinion. So we use public outcry to determine if we get any victory points for the reputation track but we're not going to use the additional encounter card. Here we're handling a little housekeeping chore from the end of the last scenario awarding a shield tech upgrade. I don't find any of these shield tech upgrades that impactful or that good but I choose shock knuckles here. don't think I ever use it. Venom's a pretty challenging scenario, especially on Solo, because of that tooth and nail. And because of his steady, which means that somebody like Miles Morales isn't that good against him, because Miles relies on stunning. And it means Ghost Spider isn't that good, because Ghost Spider struggles to remove threat. And if you use Ghost Spider's attack to remove the threat from tooth and nail, well then Venom, Venom builds up a bunch of boost cards and often will it be able to break through Ghost Spider's defenses. Ghost Spider doesn't have an all-encompassing defense like Captain America does with his shield block. But anyway, we got set up. Captain America should do pretty well against Venom because he can reliably thwart for four with his ability to ready himself, so it shouldn't take more than two turns to get rid of Tooth and Nail. So we don't have to play on Heroic 1 difficulty for more than a turn or two, which is about all we can handle. In playing this scenario, I've found that if it takes longer than a turn or two to get rid of Tooth and Nail, then you're going to lose. I tried this scenario, I've tried the first two scenarios of this campaign with a variety of different heroes, and found very few that were capable of taking down both on Expert difficulty. As they present versatile challenges, Sandman really needs a strong defensive hero. And Venom really needs a, a hero that can deal with tooth and nail within the first turn or two. So here we use, we get out multiple men, then we use Captain America and the multiple men to get tooth and nail down to four threat. And now Venom gets his turn. And I debated about putting the attack on. So here I realized that I forgot to get the shield for a setup upgrade, which means I would have drawn one less card. That's why I put Nick Fury back. Unfortunate, I would have liked to have Nick Fury. He can be quite helpful early. So, we'll probably put Venom's attack on a multiple man since I haven't gotten Captain America's shield out yet, which means no retaliate damage. And I'd like to have one ally slot open in case I want to do something like play Miles Morales. First encounter card is Threat or Menace. That's going to add two threat to the main scheme. And the second is Man Out of Time. So we're going to exhaust Steve Rogers and remove that from the game. And then we're on to the hero phase. We're not going to make use of the bell tower too much. I don't know if it's... I don't really think it's that necessary or that good in solo play to use the bell tower. So we just ignore it mostly. Yes, Venom takes additional damage if you flip the bell tower, and yes, you can use that to mitigate some of Venom's damage. 
but with our strong defensive abilities of Captain Protection, Captain America, it's not really that necessary. I think protection's probably the strongest aspect for Solo at this particular point in the game. Circa the release of Sinister Motives. Where it will end up, I don't know. Mighty Avengers Captain America is also very strong. But with the addition of Flow Like Water from this campaign box, the addition of Defiance fairly recently. Defiance is a very strong protection card. Protection's in a really, really good spot, so strong defensive heroes in solo play are really doing well right now. Ghost Spider is one of my favorites, but she has her weaknesses against this particular campaign. It's pretty interesting that they designed a campaign that would specifically counter Ghost Spider and Miles Morales. That's odd. I find that odd. So Venom's attack here is going to go on Miles Morales. Probably need a heroic strike to get rid of violent tendencies. We got two energy barriers out, but not a lot of other ramp cards. We don't have Super Soldier Serum, we don't have Unflappable, Hard to Ignore, or Flow Like Water. So we're gonna Heroic Strike here. First I gotta use Captain America to take out the Symbiote, because it has Guard. Then I can Heroic Strike for six. And a stun. Of course Venom takes two stuns in order to actually stun him. We can get rid of the Violent Tendencies, we have to deal two boost cards to Venom. And we're gonna ready Captain America with Nick Fury and Thwart for two. So Venom will attack. First boost card is one, second two, three, four, five, six, seven is the total attack, so he gets four damage through. So we're gonna use Energy Barrier tokens and deal four in return. Also one more for the Retaliate on Captain America's shield. Retaliate is very good against these bosses because it doesn't proc their Retaliates in return for the bosses that have Retaliate. And also doesn't proc like the Forced Response on Venom. So in the hero phase we're getting out Super Soldier Serum and Unflappable, so we're starting to ramp up. And I'm thinking about whether I want to hold on to Flow Like Water or whether I want to use Shield Toss. I decide that I'm going to get rid of Shield Toss. I should have absolutely used Shield Toss to ready cap and do two damage. I don't think I did that yet this round. So that was a mistake and cost me two damage, but that's alright. So Venom's attack does 5, and that's going to deal 3 to Captain America. 1 Retaliate, no unflappable proc, sadly. And the encounter card is an enraged symbiote. So we'll get out Flow Like Water. Get out Hard to Ignore. Ready Captain America, take out the symbiote, discard Avengers Mansion. And we'll draw five, hoping for a defense event, which we got. So leave us alone is kind of high up in threat. A single advance and counter card would lose the game. There's advance, but as a boost card. So never back down works and adds the second stun to Venom. So now he's stunned for real. And it's going to proc flow like water, unflappable and hard to ignore. And the encounter card is going to bring out For Whom the Bell Tolls and a Common Criminal. So now I'm thinking about what I want to do. I'm thinking about whether I want to get out Martyr or Mockingbird. I decide I do want to get out Martyr. And I'd like to ready cap, but I have to discard Defiance in order to do it, which hurts because that card's really good. But I can get a Toughness on Martyr, and Venom is stunned here with the two stuns on him. So, eh, Defiance wouldn't have been useful for at least a turn. And the Encounter card is a Scheme, and that's going to lose us the game. So we'll have to get reset and try again. Luckily I had the board state saved, so all I have to do is shuffle here. And we can try again pretty easily. 
is a tough scenario. Even for a deck specifically geared against it. I enjoy the challenge of this scenario, the base challenge. I don't I did not enjoy getting dumpstered by the expert campaign rules in solo. But we got a strong start here in this one with two super soldier serums early. And I can thwart ready and then thwart to get rid of half of tooth and nail. And here I realize I forgot Captain America's shield from the setup. And we'll use the second super soldier serum to get that out. And we'll draw five. So for Venom's attack, we're going to use Defiance here with Captain America defending. That's going to deal one retaliation, which will remove the toughness. And then we got two encounter cards, which is going to be Advance. Not a bad time to get that card. And a Symbiote. So I may not be able to take down Tooth and Nail this round, unfortunately. I'll get out Captain America's Helmet, a card that rarely has an impact on the game. Get rid of Heroic Strike to Ready Cap, and get rid of the Enraged Symbiote. We got Unflappable out, so our ramp is pretty strong with two Super Soldier Serums and Unflappable. But Leave Us Alone is high in threat, and Tooth and Nail still on the table. So we're going to defend here with, uh, actually we're not, we're just going to face tank and shield block. Well, actually we are, did have to defend. Though I forgot to exhaust Captain America. Oh, actually no, Unflappable, I take that back. Unflappable says that when you defend an attack, not when your hero does when you defend an attack and take no damage. So shield block without exhausting Captain America is fine. We still get to draw a card with unflappable. Under fire comes out. So a lot a lot of stuff happens here. We get a smear campaign. We get an additional surge after the two additional cards from under fire. And for whom the bell tolls, which is a relatively mild encounter card. It's nice to see that one typically. So Going to use Super Soldier Serums and two additional cards to get out of Avengers Mansion. Draw a card with that and use the two expert defenses to get out flow like water. Now I rethink it and decide no, I, I need to get rid of Tooth and Nail. So I'm going to thwart Ready Cap and then thwart again to get rid of Tooth and Nail. It's just too dangerous to leave an additional encounter card on the table for long. But I'll keep flow like water in hand, draw three, and an advance, and we would lose again. We've already seen one of the advances though. We're going to expert defense here for the attack. It's two indirect damage. I wasn't sure if that invalidated unflappable or not, so I played it as if it did. I'm not sure if the two indirect damage just counts as part of the attack or not, but I played it as if it did result in me not getting to draw a card with Unflappable. Venom still takes one damage from the Retaliate, which I think I forgot about. I don't see it there. So, whoops. Missed one damage there. And we're going to get out Multiple Man here with the Super Soldier Serums and the Power of Protection. Multiple Man's a very good card in this situation when you can get out three copies of him on a blank board. can really give you breathing room to get set up. And here I've got options. I could get out Flow Like Water. I think Energy Barrier is the safest. I don't know, that's debatable. And we're going to thwart with the third Multiple Man after we take out the Symbiote. Forgot to remove one Public Outcry token, but that's alright. Still in a fairly tenuous spot. If the second advance comes, I lose. We're going to shield block Venom's attack. So one retaliate, unflappable. And then we've got exhaust your identity and biting retort. So we'll put the second attack on one of the multiple mans.
and we're on to the Euro phase. We can draw with Avengers Mansion. Thinking about whether I want to do anything about improvised weapons or not. But in this case I didn't have any science resources in hand, so I didn't really have the option. Going to use Super Soldier Serum for hard to ignore here. Strength for flow like water. So we've got a very strong build here. And then we're going to Heroic Strike for 6. Add half the stun that we need to Venom. And we're going to leave Leave Us Alone at 8 threat, which is risky. At 10 we would lose. Should have given Venom a boost icon for that attack. Or a boost card because of that uh, heroic strike. I don't know if I remember to do that or not. But I did have three additional energy barrier tokens that I don't think I ever use in this one. So it wouldn't have mattered if I'd remembered the extra boost card there. And the encounter card is going to be Gang Up with two stuns on Venom. That'll just remove the stuns. Never back down is where the second stun came from. So for the hero phase, we'll use Avengers Mansion. And use the Super Soldier Serums and a couple of cards to get Martyr out. Probably have to throw away a Defiance to ready cap and get rid of some of that leave us alone threat. So, we're looking a little more stable now. Can use Defiance. I think I might have forgotten another retaliate damage. Oh, there it is. Okay. No, I did forget a retaliate damage. That was the flow like water damage. So short like two damage where I could have been if I remembered, but and probably if the second encounter card that I forgot had gone off, then energy barrier would have two for some damage, but that's all right. The encounter card is unfortunately Baron Zemo, who's going to quick strike. And I'll put that damage on the multiple man, one of the multiple mans, because I want to bring out Luke Cage anyway. Our setup is so strong here with Captain America's helmet that I'm really not worried about much. Except for threading out. With Hit Squad on the table, we got two encounter cards. Get out a second hard to ignore. And we'll ready cap here and start dealing with Baron Zemo. Using Martyr adds a toughness to him when he kills a minion. And that's good to be able to deal with Baron Zemo. I realize here that I forgot the discard for the damage, so I take three damage. And now I decide to use the energy barrier. So probably cap would have been a little bit lower in damage, but so would Venom. It is of no concern though because of my board state and Captain America's helmet being out. Just a matter of time for this one as long as I don't thread out. So I use Never Back Down to get one of the stuns. Unflappable, hard to ignore, flow like water. Got a lot of side quests, and that's two encounter or uh, it's two threat boost icons out now, and that is a problem. Man out of time, I can't exhaust Steve Rogers, so I have to discard two cards from my hand instead and discard man at a time. So now we're on to the hero phase. 
Weakness of protection as it's thwarting. Hard to ignore is very good, but it only works on the main quest. So we get a lot of side quests, and we really need to rely on Captain America for thwarting, but we also need him for his defense every round. So I ready Cap. We'll work on Hit Squad here, use Luke Cage for that. Get rid of one side quest, so at least we're at only one boost icon. And we're on to the villain phase, so we got... I'm going to use Never Back Down. Try and get the second stun on Venom. And the Retaliate, I'll push him into phase 3, so that's two boost icons on him. And he's got Retaliate 1 now. We get to do our usual stuff for having defended successfully. Move the toughness. And the encounter card is now we're angry. So with Heroic Strike, we'll try to get some damage in. Initially I thought about discarding the multiple man and then playing multiple man again for the two copies, the one in the hand and the one in the deck. But with two allies still on the table, I realized that that wasn't going to be very good, so I eventually walk back the play. So at this point I realize, oh wait, I have three allies, I'm capped out. Okay, so we can't do that. We'll just heroic strike for six. Give Venom two more boost cards, an additional stun, and I should take one retaliate damage here, which would go to the energy barrier. And Martyr should take two to our one retaliate damage here. So Martyr would retire. Luke Cage would have three damage on him. And Energy Barrier would drop Venom to six here with four Energy Barrier tokens remaining. Just have to keep track of it because apparently I forgot to retaliate on Venom, but it's not going to matter. So Venom was stunned there with two stuns. The encounter card's a Hydra Soldier. We can go ahead and just finish Venom off here. There's a variety of ways I could do it. Could do it with Nick Fury. Shield Toss plus Energy Barrier. So a Shield Toss with discarding two will take care of the Hydra Soldier and four damage on Venom. One Retaliate, which would go to the Energy Barrier. Yeah, there's a, a wide variety of ways that I can uh, deal this damage. That should have dealt one Retaliate, which could go to Energy Barrier. That should be one more Retaliate, which would go to Energy Barrier. And, yeah. So anyway, there should have been like three or four fewer tokens on Energy Barrier, which would have just finished off Venom even quicker. When you've got Energy Barrier out and you're trying to burn through the villain, the uh, Retaliate is actually something helpful. Because Energy Barrier can be used on any kind of damage. So anyway, Captain does really well against Venom, actually, because his Retaliate is helpful for whittling down Venom. And with Protection, it provides strong ramp capabilities, which is good because that's what's missing for Captain America's kit. He has very strong defensive abilities, but he doesn't have strong ramp abilities. He really only has his two Super Soldier Serums. But Protection provides unflappable, hard-to-ignore, and flow-like water which really boost those defensive events so that you're retaliating for one with Captain America's shield, you're 
flow like watering for one, you're drawing a card that's unflappable, and you're removing one or two or three threat with hard to ignore. That's some very good defense, some very good value off of each defensive card. And so here I eventually um, decide I'm not going to use Captain America to attack. I'd like him to heal instead and and uh, Martyr shouldn't have been available to attack. Martyr should have retired, but the energy barriers would have done the damage that I needed. I just wanted to go into the next scenario with 11 threat. So it got murky there at the end because I forgot about Venom's Retaliate in Phase 3, but because of the, the 6 tokens on energy barriers available, it wouldn't have mattered. Which is good. Took me quite a few attempts, or I tried, I should say, quite a few different heroes to beat Venom on expert difficulty. It didn't take me a lot of attempts once I switched to Protection Captain America. He's very good against these first two scenarios. But I tried it out with Protection Iron Man, I tried it with Doctor Strange, I tried it with Miles and with Ghost Spider. None of them did particularly well against Venom on expert. Or else they did well against Venom but not Sandman, or they did well against Sandman but not Venom. It was hard to find someone who's good against both because you need someone who defends really well against Sandman's indirect damage, and you need someone who can deal with tooth and nail early. And it's hard to hard to find that, but Captain does very well. And we'll see if he can finish off the last three bosses in this campaign or not. And for the housekeeping, we had three additional reputation. Plus one for not dying, plus one for no minions, plus one for no acceleration tokens. And I that just brings into play an additional mulligan. Not that big a deal. So anyway, thank you for watching.